Hi, it's Brendan McGrath in Manchester. I want to tell you a little bit more about the upcoming International Tracheostomy Symposium, which we're going to deliver live, virtually, from Manchester on the 7th of October 2021. It'll be beamed out right around the world, and it's got something for everybody involved in tracheostomy care, whatever your role and whatever your specialty. The ITS has been running for about 10 years now, and this is the sixth conference that we've had following hot on the heels from successful conferences from Melbourne, in Europe and in North America. The ITS has got a varied programme and first up we're going to put patients front and centre of what we do. We're going to invite some of our local patients from Greater Manchester onto our sofa and they're going to tell us a bit about what's happened to them and what's important to them about tracheostomy care. They're going to challenge the healthcare community to do something about it. In response, Tanis Cameron has been working with the GTC since its inception. Tanis is Vice Chair of the Board of the GTC and she's a speech and language therapist working in Melbourne, Australia. Tanis helped to set up the TRAMS Tracheostomy Review and Management Service in Melbourne, which is one of the first groups to show improvements through multidisciplinary working and collecting data and bringing best practices into tracheostomy care. Tanis is going to tell us what the GTC has been up to during the pandemic and how we've been working to improve the quality and safety of care we deliver for our patients. Tanis is followed by Mr Neil Bateman. Neil is an ENT surgeon working at the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital. Neil's expertise is in paediatric airway reconstruction, but he's also been working hard for the NTSP, particularly over the last 18 months, working with colleagues, trying to put together a response to what's happened to our children who've got tracheostomies during the pandemic. A lot of the children were excluded from mainstream activities and education. And Neil's going to tell us how the NTSP has been collaborating with colleagues around the world to try and change this. I'm going to talk a little bit about what we've been doing to improve tracheostomy care in the United Kingdom. We rolled out a three year programme in 20 hospitals in our public national health care service. And we were able to show that we can improve the quality and safety of care in diverse hospitals for diverse patients. This led to organisational efficiencies and big cost savings. This also then led on to a national patient safety improvement programme, which I'll talk about. Ganesh Chantralingam is the immediate past president of the UK Intensive Care Society. Ganesh is an intensive care consultant working down in London, and he was at the sharp end of leading the response to COVID from the perspective of a national body. So Ganesh has a unique insight about what was happening in this country and all around the world and how that translated into an impact on our intensive care services and particularly patients and staff having to work with an unprecedented surge in patients with new tracheostomies. Phil Duncan is head of the National Patient Safety Improvement Programme at NHS England. Phil was responsible for taking some of the work we'd done in showing what best tracheostomy care looks like and translating that rapidly into a national programme that was rolled out across the many hospitals in NHS England as part of a response to the COVID pandemic and the surge that we were expecting. Anusha Gupta is going to tell us what happened to her. She unfortunately became ill with COVID at the beginning of the pandemic and ended up on a ventilator, on ECMO, and then had a long wean with a tracheostomy. Anusha has a unique perspective on this because she's a healthcare professional herself. She's a GP, but also has this first-hand experience of what it's like spending long periods of time on an intensive care unit trying to get off the ventilator. Anusha's going to tell us about her problems, talking, eating, drinking, and those slow steps towards full rehabilitation, which carried on after she left hospital. The MDT that helped Anusha are also featuring. This is Barbara Bonvento. Barbara is our respiratory physiotherapist who works on a critical care unit. And she worked closely with Anusha, mobilising her, rehabilitating her and getting her back on her feet again. Andrew Bentley is Professor of Respiratory Medicine and Intensive Care Medicine working on the ICU in South Manchester. Andrew leads our long-term ventilation service and he helped to tailor the weaning programmes for all of our patients who had long-term tracheostomies. Sarah Wallace is a speech and language therapist, again working with all of our patients who've got tracheostomies, 
helping understand their rehabilitation needs and getting patients talking, eating and drinking much faster than they would have done. And the impact that has on our patients is huge. Finally, Stephen Warrilow is the immediate past president of the Australian and New Zealand Intensive Care Society. Stephen again has first-hand experience of what it's like trying to manage our systems in a pandemic. Stephen is an intensive care consultant uh, working in Melbourne and Stephen will bring his experiences of what it's like trying to improve care and manage a service in his hospital plus all around uh, that corner of the world. Stephen's going to tell us all about the guidelines he was involved in and how they've evolved from being very restrictive around tracheostomy care to making sure that the benefits we can bring to patients are back at the heart of the guidance and what we do, bringing tracheostomy care back to business as usual. So that's the first session at our ITS6 conference. We think there's something there for everyone. Look forward to seeing you there.